Hi, I'm Nelson Nunnally from Ravenscroft School in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I'd like to show you one of the ways I use LabVIEW in the high school classroom. I think you get the idea. So a couple of times during the year, I like to give a fairly open-ended project so I can really test the student's creativity. And last year's final project was to recreate some kind of familiar game like Battleship or Tic-Tac-Toe. And I had a musically inclined student who decided to try to recreate Guitar Hero. Here's what he came up with. If we take a look at Stefan's block diagram, we can get a better idea of how he made all this work. Notice first of all, there's a large array here of zeros and ones, which ultimately will control when the LED lights come on and off on the front panel. Over here on the right, here are the green LED indicators, which will ultimately show lights being turned on and off. Really the interactive part of this program though happens up here, where there's a keyboard acquire input sub VI. So at this point, the user is able to type in numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to try to match the LED lights as they pass by. And then their input is tested against the array of numbers. And if, if they have the, the correct answer, then they're able to increase their score.